financing deals with high vacancy. What's going on YouTube? So before we get into today's video, I got some really exciting news for you guys. We're coming up on our 100th Mentorship Monday, which is incredible. Thank you guys for submitting all those questions to help me at theroastergroup.com for me to answer here on the YouTube page. I'm eternally grateful for all that support for me to have content to produce for you guys. And as a thank you and as a really awesome way to celebrate with you guys, I'm going to have our 101st Mentorship Monday on June 4th. And it's going to be live. I'm going to do it live here on the YouTube channel June 4th at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. June 4th, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You have to be here on the YouTube channel so you can watch live Mentorship Monday. I'm going to answer live lots of questions. I'm going to have some special guests. And I just finished a book for biggerpockets.com on how to raise private money. The book just got finished. It gets launched in July, but I'm going to do some free giveaways of the book here on the, here on the, on the, uh, at that event. You got to be there. I'm going to do some other free giveaways. And like I said, I'm going to have some special guests with me too. So you guys need to check this out. It's going to be a great event with lots of freebies and lots of really cool things we're going to do and get into some questions and everything. It's going to be, it's going to be a ball. You guys need to be here. June 4th, 3 p.m. Please be there. I'll uh, look forward to seeing you guys then. What is happening, YouTube? Thank you for watching Mentorship Monday. Today's question comes from Jacob. Jacob's a repeat asker of questions and uh, a great dude. So thank you, Jacob. Good hearing from you. Here's a high five. There you go, Jacob. Uh, so Jacob's got a vacant property he's looking to buy. And vacant properties are interesting uh, interesting purchases. You got to look creative. Um, uh, I'm going to uh, see if I can read through this here. He's got a uh, vacant five unit, it looks like, and it's 240K. Depending on the location, could be a good number. Um, he doesn't say how much work it needs and all that, but that's not really, we're not going to talk about, you know, financing of renovations and stuff like that. We're really going to talk about how do you finance a property um, that's vacant. Uh, so he's talking about getting hard money. I mean, he's used, do I get a hard money loan at 9% interest? Um, if you can get hard money at 9%, go for it. Um, uh, Jacob also asked the seller to hold a 6% interest loan which I think that that's probably where I would go with it. Um, the bottom line here, guys, we'll get to the seller financing in a second. Um, vacant property is really hard to finance with banks because uh, vacant property doesn't produce any rent, and banks want to see that collateral of rents. Like if you're looking, if you're buying a property that has tenants in it, um, the banks are going to want to review their leases. They're going to see how long the leases are. Banks typically don't like to see that a lot of the leases are month to month. So banks get very lease focused on buying um, when you when you buy a rented out property. Um, if you're buying vacant property, there's really no collateral for the, I mean, they have the collateral of the real estate, but they don't have regular income coming in. And banks like to see that income coming in from the property that they can, um, you know, you can make your mortgage payment out of. And by the way, you have to sign all, typically when you finance a deal with a bank, you have to sign something called assignment of rents, meaning if you stop paying rent, um, I'm sorry, if you start paying your mortgage to them, they can go and assign the rents over to them, meaning that they can take over uh, your property management contract or take over uh, the lease with your tenants, get the tenants to send their, send their rent directly to the bank. So uh, leases and rents coming in are great collateral for banks to make sure that they can get paid. If you're buying a property that doesn't have any of that, then they 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 have the real estate itself, but they really don't have anything that's producing revenue, and so banks can get very skittish about um, about deals like that. You got two ways we can go with it. You can find a bank that's willing to do an interest escrow, and there are banks that fund a lot of renovations or do bridge loans and stuff like that that will allow you to borrow money to buy the property, which with some equity down, and then um, money to renovate too, and then they'll uh, they'll they'll also finance in there a pool of money to um, provide the interest payments it's called an interest escrow. So if you can get a bank, it's, it's got to be a small community bank, so if the properties and wherever it is. Uh, it, it's like Albuquerque, Albuquerque, New Mexico, whatever. Find yourself a bank right around the corner from the building in Albuquerque, or you know wherever you're buying, that will um, that will finance that. It's got to be small community bank, bank with just a few branches. Uh, they may be willing to do a deal like I just described. Um, they're going to require you to lay a lot of money down. So you got to bring a lot of cash to the table. Um, that or and uh, they will probably set that up with you and then they'll they'll allow you to refinance it into a permanent loan once you've got it performing and renovated and everything like that that's option one option two is to get a little more creative and to do what jacob's alluding to here is he says i've asked the seller to finance me at six percent interest with a 30-year amortization loan and a five-year balloon um love the seller financing aspect of it 
I don't like that you're trying to amortize the loan because in the beginning, if you're buying a vacant property, you want your payments to be as low as possible so that you can get the property renovated. So you want to offer that seller um, interest only, maybe even offer them a little more interest and say, I'll, offer, I'll give you an interest only payment um, at 6% for two years, whatever it is. Uh, and I should be able to refinance out of your loan anytime that I want with no fee um, and I'll make you monthly payments. So that's what I would do on an, on a seller finance loan. You could also try and negotiate some private money. Um, you know, through if you've got a, a friend with an IRA or a relative with an IRA or something like that, uh, IRAs are great vehicles for short-term loans like this. That should take you maybe six to months to a year to renovate that five-unit building um, if you put the pedal down, and then you, you you do it with a, maybe a combination of private money and seller financing. You get the property renovated and then you refinance out. It's it's like on bigger pockets they talk about the Burr strategy. Okay, this is the Burr strategy on steroids for a, a small multi. Okay, so that's the answer to you, Jacob. I think you're probably going to very easily be able to put together. Uh, a seller financing slash um, uh, slash uh, you know private money deal uh, outside chance of getting a bank to step in on it so that's up to you but uh, anyway I think it's a great deal and, and a lot of people get skittish around properties that have a lot of vacancy but if you get creative with your financing those can be the best deals because um, if Jacob's property is worth let's say it's worth a million when he's done refinancing 200,000 a unit um, he might be able to get the work done for a lot less than that if he's buying for 240 and be able to do the renovations for a lot less and end up with a lot of equity. Maybe even he can refinance and pull a few bucks out for himself so he can do the next deal. Uh, again, it's like the Burr strategy on on, um, on steroids. So uh, that's it. Uh, thank you, Jacob. Here's another high five for you. Appreciate your uh, all your support and questions for Mentorship Monday. Um, and for those of you other guys that want to shoot in questions, you know what to do. You want to email them to helpme at derosergroup.com. That is helpme at derosergroup.com, and I'll answer them right here on the YouTube page. Do not forget about Mentorship Monday Live on uh, June 4th, 2018. Um, and uh, check us out on Facebook too at facebook.com forward slash DeRosa Group. That's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for watching and have a great and profitable week.